Hello everyone, welcome back to Cyber Platter. In this video, we'll discuss about security as a share markup language in short SAML. Let's first understand what is cookie-based single sign-on. In the cookie-based single sign-on, whenever you first access an application, an SSO cookie is created on your browser. In the subsequent logins to other applications, the same SSO cookie is passed and using that cookie, you don't need to log in again. As long as that cookie is valid, you can access any other application which is uh, participating in single sign-on. A cookie is a piece of information that is stored on your browser by a website. So whenever you visit any website, the website stores some piece of information on the browser related to your activity, such as login or browsing activities, etc. These cookies have some attributes they have name, they have some value, domain, path, expiration. Because cookies contain sensitive information and they are tied to a domain, they cannot be shared across uh, domains. So if you see here, even though the cookies have same name, but their domains are different, these two cookies are treated as different cookies. They cannot be shared. Uh, with other domains. For example, if a cookie is created for abc.com, it cannot be sent to example.com. Because cookies are not shared between domains, single sign-on with different cookie domains cannot be achieved using cookie-based SSO. You need to have another approach. So SAML came into existence to solve this problem. So SAML provides single sign-on across domains. This is also called as cross-domain SSO. There are primarily three actors in SAML. One is user, user who is uh, trying to access the application. The identity provider is the system which, which provides authentication mechanism. And the service provider, service provider is the application which provides service or which the application that user is trying to access to. SAML is a token-based authentication system. In general, token-based authentication system works um, as shown in this example, where um, if you want to go to a movie, you first purchase a ticket, which acts as a token, and you show the token at the entrance of the theater. And after verification, uh, if the token is valid or ticket is valid, then they let you into the theater to watch. Same way, when a user access an application, user first needs to log in to an identity provider. Identity provider issues a SAML token after successful authentication. The same SAML token will be presented to the service provider and service provider validates the token and allows the user in if the token is valid. SAML token is also called as SAML assertion. SAML assertion is a digitally signed um, XML document which contains user identity um, attributes and authentication information. It is uh, generated by the identity provider and shared with the uh, service provider. So when user is logging into a service provider, the service provider validates the SAML token and allows the user in. Here is an example of uh, SAML assertion. As I mentioned, it is in XML format. It has um, uh, who the issuer is, uh, issuer is uh, which identity provider issued the token, and also identity provider signature generated by the identity provider's private key. And uh, it has assertion, assertion contains who the user is as part of SAML subject. And then it and it contains uh, conditions like what is the validity of the assertion and some attributes related to the user who logged in. Let's see a demo. In this example, I'm accessing a Salesforce um, sample application. So as soon as I access the URL, Salesforce presented me with an option to log in with Azure SSO uh, because we integrated Salesforce application with Azure as an identity provider. It prompted me to select the Azure option. So once I click login with Azure SSO, it is redirected to Azure login page. As you see here on the address bar, you can see that the login page is from Microsoft. So once I enter my Microsoft ID and click next, 
it redirects me or it asks me to uh, provide or it asks me to select uh, authentication method because in, I, I, I registered for passwordless authentication. So Azure has an option for passwordless authentication where it sends a notification on the mobile authenticator app. So when I selected that, I got a notification. And once I logged in, um, I, I am redirected to Salesforce, as you see here. So let's see what Microsoft sent to Salesforce as part of SAML token. So have a SAML plugin. I will talk about this SAML plugin in the future, how to troubleshoot SAML issues. As you see here, um, it has issuer details. So the issuer is Microsoft here. And then it has um, a, uh, it has my identity for whom this SAML token is issued. And it has some attributes, um, um, my first name, last name, etc. And it has a signature value. A signature makes sure that the request is or uh, SAML token is actually sent by the valid identity provider or the correct identity provider, not from a uh, fraud or um, or bad actor. SAML standard is created by an organization called OSS, and it has three versions so far: SAML 1.0, 1.1, and 2.0. 1.0 and 1.1 are not used um, now in the industry very rarely you see and 2.0 is the quite common protocol that you see every application uses and 2.0 came into existence in um, 2005 and since then it is um, it is widely used thank you for watching the video guys if you like the video, please comment, share, and subscribe to Cyberplatter. We'll see you soon with a new video. Until then, bye.